Jason Wedgbury to be our lead official here. He'll be assisted by Mr. John Nath. A lot of implications in the team race, in particular here. Missouri's trying to get inside the top three, and Ohio State's trying to hold on to the top spot. So 30 seconds in, both these guys trying to fill out the other here. During the two-minute mark of our first period here, Bo Jordan, the sixth seed, third seed of Daniel Lewis. Jordan gonna try to grasp for right leg, and Lewis very, very talented defensively. Just imagine all the noise in the background. There's always excitement, whether it be on this mat or mats one through eight. These young men really putting on a display of tremendous wrestling talent. He was a six-time state champion in Minnesota and Apple Valley. His team six state championships. Heavy on the head is Bo Jordan. Here as we go down inside the one minute mark. Bo Jordan. Just about cut Lewis off guard a little bit. We near the uh, 30 second mark here. Down inside 25 seconds in a scoreless first period. Jordan, for the moment, had a grasp of an ankle. Good defense, athleticism there by Daniel Lewis. You match up on that number two, 165 pounds, Connor Flynn of Missouri, Tayshia Campbell of Ohio State. So Bo Jordan's going to defer. Four to three victory, event number seven, advancing to the consolations of 165. Be interesting to see right now how effective Bo Jordan is from the top position. This is probably his best position. Going to cover up Daniel Lewis. He's not even going to contest it as Bo Jordan. He's just going to let Lewis out for one. It's a one to nothing Daniel Lewis lead. Shot there by Jordan. He's in on the legs. I'll try to step over his bull Jordan of Daniel Lewis. Trying to circle right as bull Jordan. Jordan. 
near the out of bounds line. Down inside a minute to go, and a stalemate call will get a fresh start. Exactly 55 remains here in the second. Getting into the hand, says Jason Wedgbury. Going to put an abrupt stop to that. We'll go right back to a fresh start from the neutral position. Down inside, 45 seconds to go. Just a one to nothing lead here. Not a lot of action in this quarterfinal between the number three and number six seed guys. Now Lewis in on the legs of Bo Jordan. Down inside 10 seconds. That time's going to relapse. It's going to be a takedown, says Jason Wedgbury. So they're going to give a takedown to Daniel Lewis, now three to nothing. Just hearing our side official, John Nath here, he said that in fact the points were awarded before the buzzer went out on their uh, armbands. So in essence, it wasn't challenged by Tom Ryan. And here comes Bo Jordan getting active now to begin period number three. Just that quick moment where Bo Jordan stopped wrestling down inside the last 10 seconds cost him a takedown. Near the out of bounds line, and Jordan would be best to get out and get a new start. Or bring him back into the center. He's going to get a benefactor of a quick stalemate call. 122 to go. 3 0 the score for Daniel Lewis. Be another shot for Bo Jordan and a warrant an inactivity call on Lewis. And on inside 50 seconds we go. 45 seconds. Jordan in on the legs again, but just can't convert on Daniel Lewis. Three to nothing remains the score as near the out of bounds line. They're going to go out. For a start. Another shot by Bo Jordan. And all the many Buckeye fans here don't like it. Going to be a point. Going to run out of time. And bricks are being thrown all over the place. I don't know what the bricks being thrown out for. Going to be a, a point awarded to Bo Jordan for an activity call. 
And Daniel Lewis is going to outlast Bo Jordan. Final score is going to be three to one. Into the semifinals with a victory on that number six from Missouri. You're watching the NCAA Wrestling Championship on ESPN. <laughs> 